Welcome back everyone. Time now is 745. More community members are coming together to make sure a six year old girl who was in a freak accident last month can get some assistance. Members with Empty Soon Motorcycle Ministry and Exalt Ministries are pitching in to help and joining us now are members with those two groups, Rick Drury and Chris Carr. Good morning. How y'all feeling? Good morning. Good morning. So talk to us about why you all decided to, of all things, pitch in to help. Why, sir? Well, the Bible clearly says that we are to love one another as ourself mm -hmm. and we're to help those in need. Mm -hmm. And this gives us an opportunity to share Jesus and help this family who is in dire need of financial assistance. And how did that connection come into play? How did you, with Aubrey and y'all's group? We are friends with uh, Aubrey's father's boss okay. who called us and requested prayer and we took it from there and ran with it. Beautiful, beautiful. How does it feel, sir, to, to, to see so many people come in and help? Uh, it's really a blessing to see all the community ra uh, rally together and to help this little girl and help this family. And we spoke yesterday, of yeah. course, at the shop. So what was your initial reaction, both of you all, but what was your initial reaction when you all realized that this young girl, six-year-old, was in a freak accident. Uh, it was shocking to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a lot of grandchildren myself and young kids, and I understand, you know, how do the parents feel, how does her siblings feel. Mm -hmm. But it was a real shock that, as to how the freak accident just happened. Mm -hmm. For you, sir. It's a tragedy that can go wrong at any time. Accidents can happen, and it just goes to show us that your life can change in a matter of seconds. And I can't imagine what her father and her sister went through in that truck with her at that moment. So you all decided to get involved. We're hosting a ride, which includes all vehicles. Yes. Take it away. So we're uh, July the 8th. We're doing a ride for, for Auburn. Uh, we'll be starting in Roanoke at the Exalted Church on Williamson Road, going up to uh, Radford. And uh, it's a do with donations. Uh, we'll have food there, door prizes, silent auction. So uh, we anticipate probably between four and 500 vehicles. Got it, got it. How does it feel to, because we were talking yesterday too, people as far as away from New York and Georgia, how does it feel that you see so many people participating in the event? It's awesome to see the community and the country rally around at such uncertain times in our world right now. It's just good to see everybody come together for a, a good cause. And so what is the overall goal for two Saturdays from now? What's the overall goal? Obviously, we would like to see as much financial support as possible, but I think a realistic goal would be uh, around 50,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so if people wanted to get involved, where do they go? So we've got a location on the website. Uh, they also can come to the, to the event itself on July the 8th, but we've got online giving as well. And uh, you can locate that on our Facebook page uh, empty Tomb Motorcycle Ministry, and also Exalted Church. And the ride is going from? 5319 Williamson Road in Roanoke mm -hmm. to Radford University. We have two facilities there, a parking lot, the Fraternal Order of Police, and also Radford University is allowing us to use their lot for parking. Beautiful. And so we were showing pictures while you all were talking of Aubrey having a successful surgery. How does it feel that at least she has her feet back, well, attached to her body? We think it's a, a miracle, obviously, what the medical staff can do today, but we also give the glory to God for that, that God has enabled the medical staff to help her and where she will lead pretty much a normal life. Beautiful. You, sir? I, I, not, not to copy Rick, but yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's a miracle, and uh, it is glory to God that, that he's enabled everybody to be able to do that. So looking forward to possibly Aubrey being at the ride. Beautiful. So. Obviously, you're hoping for to offset the cost for the bills. We have 30 seconds left. What else are y'all hoping for a while at two Saturdays from now, the event? And it's from what time to what time? We will arrive about 7 o'clock. We'll be on site. Registration starts at 8. We will exit probably between 10 and 10.30. Mm -hmm. Arrive in Rafford about an hour or so later where we'll have a silent auction and have food on site for donations. Beautiful. And so you, sir? Uh, yeah, so not much other than what Rick has said there, but... Um, so just, you know, come out and see us July the 8th and support this family. So.